performance. to stand for the beanbag toss. I don't have a ruler or tape measure, so I'm measuring in a different way. How can you measure without a ruler? You can use objects around you to measure things. Yep, you can use crayons to measure. Line up crayons along the object you want to measure. Make sure the crayons are straight and the same size. There shouldn't be gaps between them and they shouldn't overlap. The end of the crayon should line up with the end of the object. This book is four crayons long. If you don't line up the crayons correctly, your measurement won't be accurate or correct. It's important to use the same object when you measure. If you use different objects, you won't get an accurate measurement. Cool robots, Moby. How tall are they? We can use blocks to measure their height. The green robot is four blocks tall. How tall is the red robot? Let's see. It's ten blocks tall. You're right, Moby. It seems like the red robot is taller because the number is bigger. But I know the green robot is taller. Since the blocks we use to measure are different sizes, it's hard to compare the measurements. When you compare measurements, always use the same object to measure. The green robot is four blocks tall, and the red robot is three blocks tall. How does using smaller or larger objects change your measurement? When you measure using objects, think about the size of the object you want to use. Let's measure this pink kit using paper clips. Let's see. It's six paper clips long. Now let's try measuring with something bigger, like erasers. The pink kit is three erasers long. We used more paper clips than erasers to measure the pink kit. When you measure using smaller objects, you use more of them. When you measure with larger objects, you use fewer. What should we use to measure this bookshelf? Hmm. What should we use? Pencil sharpeners are pretty small. It'd take a long time to measure this bookshelf. Do you want to use an electric guitar? <laughs> the guitar is longer than the bookshelf. It's easier to use something smaller than the object you're measuring. That's better, Moby. The bookshelf is four pencils wide. A unit is what you use to measure. So the unit we're using to measure is pencils. What are some examples of units? We measure length in units like centimeters or meters. We also measure in units like inches or feet. Standard units are common units that people use so they can describe measurements in the same way. If we didn't measure things in the same way, then we wouldn't understand each other. Building things would be really hard if we didn't use common units. But sometimes you don't have a ruler around, so you can use non-standard units. I need to measure about 10 feet away from the board for the beanbag toss. So I'm walking 10 steps. It looks like we need to stand here for the beanbag toss. You can go first, Moby. Not 
Well, he didn't play fair in that one, did he? Okay, now we're going to switch to our math book, our goal math book. Turn to page 591. We have two pictures on page 591. We have a straw and we have a key. Using non-standard measurement, how can we tell which one is longer? And which one is shorter? How can we measure? What can we do to measure what? Which one is longer and which one is shorter? And how can you explain how your non unit of measurement worked? We could use the key to measure the straw. The key then becomes our unit of measurement. Let's look on page 592. We have a pencil box that we need to measure. It says to use a string. I happen to have a purple string. Purple string, if I put it down on the up close for you, you can see it's the same size as our pencil box. Now we're going to use that same piece of string to measure a pencil. We want to know if this will fit in our pencil box. Will this pencil fit in our pencil box? It will because the pencil is shorter than our string. Our pencil is shorter than our string. Here's the end of the pencil. Here's our string. So we know our pencil can go in our pencil box. What about an eraser? Will this eraser fit? Yes, the eraser will fit in our pencil box. What about our crayons? Will our crayon fit in, the pa in our paper bo pencil box? Yep, the crayon will. Plenty small enough. Then it asks for a straw. I don't have a straw. I have a chopstick. Will my chopstick fit in the pencil box? No, my chopstick's too big for the pencil box. What about a popsicle stick? Can this popsicle stick fit in a pencil box? Yes, it can. If we go on to page 593, it gives us a couple more items to see if they will fit in our pencil box. What about a glue stick? Will the glue stick fit? Yes, it will. What about our marker? Will our marker fit in our pencil box? Let's see. Our marker will fit in our pencil box. So we have several items that will fit in our pencil box. Your homework for this week for math is going to be on page 594. We're going to do questions 9 and 10. You're going to use the same string that we used earlier to answer these questions. So that piece of string that you cut, it can be a shoelace, it can be a piece of yarn, Whatever piece of string you find, that is what you're going to use as your unit of measurement. Remember, just cut it to whatever length you want. All right? I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in later. Bye.